in this lecture let us discuss about depth limited search so uh, we already saw what is meant by depth first search algorithm so D, uh, dfs is an algorithm which mainly explores a tree or graph by starting at the root node and exploring as far as possible along each branch before backtracking right so it follows a path from root to a leaf node then backtracks to explore other paths so this method can be inefficient when dealing with large or infinite trees say if a tree is small with few number of nodes then you can go with dfs but if it is uh, large then in that case it uh, dfs is considered to be the inefficient method because it may explore deep branches that do not contain the goal so which leads to wastage of time and resources also so we need to explore all the nodes or deep branches and uh, if that branch is not containing goal then in that case why to explore that so it is just waste of time right as well as resources so here uh, this depth limited search is considered to be the modified version of dfs that imposes certain limit on the depth of the search which means that algorithm will only explore nodes up to certain depth effectively preventing it from going down excessively deep paths that are unlikely to lead to the goal so here we'll set the maximum depth limit and this depth limited search aims to improve efficiency and ensure more manageable search times so here if you see this how this dfs uh, how this uh, depth limited search works so these are a few things that we need to know first is initialization so here we begin at the root node with a specified depth limit and traverse the tree or graph exploring each node's children so you need to find out the adjacent nodes of a node which are nothing but children and after that check the depth so say suppose if the current depth exceeds the limit so the limit which we set before then in that case you can start exploring that path and you can just uh, backtrack and after that uh, goal check so say suppose if the goal node is found within the depth limit say if the depth limit is 2 and if the goal node is found within that limit then we can say that search is successful and if the search reaches the depth limit or leaf node without finding the goal say suppose if the goal node is present at level 3 but we set the depth limit as 2. So in that case, uh, we can't uh, find the goal within the limit, depth limit. So backtrack and explore other branches in that case. Let us solve this example. So here, the process is uh, similar to DFS, but uh, in this case, we'll set the limit, like depth. So let us take the depth as uh, 2. So here, this is your start node and this is level 0 level 1 level 2 and level 3 right so as the depth limit is 2 we'll consider only till level 2 traversing takes place only till level 2 okay so let us uh, su suppose let us so let us take this 7 as a goal node now okay so use the same procedure which we used in dfs so first we are starting from one and you need to take the adjacent vertices of uh, one so which are nothing but two and three say suppose if the next node which is considered is two then take ad adjacent non visited vertices of two that is four and five so traverse to four and now there are even though there is one adjacent vertex for four here the algorithm won't consider anything after this level two so instead of taking it as 8, it will backtrack and move to 5. So after 4, we'll get 5. 
and after five they uh, here for five there are no adjacent vertices so backtrack to two and then backtrack to one then take the another uh, non visited adjacent vertex of one which is three so from three will go to sorry from five it will go to three and adjacent vertices of three are six and seven so here from three go to six then again six is having one adjacent vertex which is at level three so don't consider that from six go back so backtrack to three and then from six move to seven so seven is our goal node right so what is the path so path is one two four five Three, six, and seven. Seven is our goal node. So we can say that search is successful as we reach the goal node. This is how we can solve the problem using depth-limited search.